Today's subject is uh, purification of intellect. This is a very big subject and it is going to take uh, a little bit of time. As usual, I am going to be very exact, straightforward, no sugar coating and it is going to be very offensive to some people, especially those who are not very intelligent. Let us define intelligence before we try to find out the impurities in it and then we'll attempt to find some cures for it. I have a very very unique definition of intelligence which is uh, whole and complete. It is a spiritual definition. It says that uh, all the processes of the memory when they are working optimally in perfect balance and in perfect harmony that state of the memory is called intelligent state. Notice that there is no bias towards rationality, logic, bookish knowledge, material success, smartness, cunningness, IQ, race or caste or your degrees. All these criteria were created by very very stupid people. Probably you will never find this definition anywhere else because overall there is this atmosphere of stupidity everywhere. Intelligence is a very very evolved ability of the mind. Hardly anybody has this kind of ability. Very few people possess this state where all the processes, all the layers of the memory are working optimally. Also notice that there, there is a, you know, dysfunction of the lower layers. Intelligence is not cutting off of the lower nature. The lower nature is also manifested equally nicely. For an intelligent person, there are no impurities there. It happens as it should happen naturally. So as the mind evolves, it does not drop its lower layers. This is a common knowledge. And so we carry all that as the intelligence grows. Discarding of the lower nature, hating the lower layers is not intelligent. It is stupidity. Purifying them, using them is wisdom. These abilities... They increase with knowledge. The more knowledge you get, more intelligent you become. And uh, it works in reverse also that uh, the more intelligent you are, you get an ability to get more knowledge. It is a self-reinforcing process. Those who are very intelligent, knowledge comes to them easily. And those who have knowledge, they display intelligence. In my opinion, it is impossible to measure intelligence and those who try to measure intelligence are not so intelligent. Intelligence is dynamic. The activity of the layers, as you must have seen in the past episodes, varies greatly with time, with age, with uh, social conditions, with uh, food, drinks, situations, emotions and many more things. There are so many factors here that affect the working of the memory that it is useless to even count them and it is ultimate stupidity to assume that this can be measured. You can get a broad idea about the level of intelligence of the person. You cannot put a number on it. Only stupid people do that. Everybody is different. Everybody is unique. And they do not remain the same all the time. They keep growing or they also retard their progress. Stops. They go in reverse sometimes. Sometimes they are very high in intelligence. Next day they are completely retarded. And in this way, whatever number you stick on that person is completely useless. It is not useful to make any decisions there is no consistency in intelligence. It is very, very dynamic. So these are all uh, some bitter truths about the intellect. And the most bitter of them is that hardly anybody's got it. Hardly anybody's evolved enough. And those who are evolved enough to be called intelligent, they also suffer from many, many impurities. So people have used their own uh, definitions of intelligence to get their way. They, they use it, they misuse it in whatever way they want. Hardly anybody is honest about 
the meaning of intelligence not even scientists not even so called psychologists they don't know what it is they pretend to know it which is a very biased view intelligence places the creature on the level of humans and very few have actually reached here they are still reaching it is still evolving and so only a rare few can be called intelligent this is the bitter truth so those who think they are intelligent they should listen carefully because it is going to feel like salt on the wounds so let us count some uh, impurities there can be hundreds of impurities in the intellect which i am say calling as a higher layer for practical purposes although i have said that it is overall working but there are specific layers in the memory that oversee the intellectual processes if this layer is not working then the lower layers they are thrown out of balance so this layer is in charge of it and it has many processes that uh, enable intelligence it is you can say a governing center the whole organism is governed from this layer so we are going to solve this problem by differentiating between intelligence and intellect intelligence is the overall working of the memory structure of the organism and intellect is a specific uh, place specific area in the memory which is found in highly evolved entities in this way you can differentiate and you can see that now the layer of the intellect governs the overall intelligence it also governs the lower layers that is why it is possible to keep them in harmony if this governing center the commanding center goes uh, faulty everything else goes faulty or it is left to the mother nature so let us count some of the impurities in the layer of the intellect or in the ability called intelligence which is not exhaustive there can be hundreds of uh, these uh, impurities so i'm going to give you only a um, example here what can be there what can go wrong so the first impurity starts from the lowest layer which is of the body surprisingly intelligence depends on the body if the growth of the body is affected because of some reason then the organism or the human being grows up as a mentally retarded creature i think everybody knows that the main reason here especially in this country is malnutrition poverty or even in the families that are prosperous because their food habits are not up to the mark there is no nutrition in their food the person grows up under malnutrition either the body does not grow properly or uh, there are dysfunctions in the body including dysfunctions of the nervous system and this causes a mental retardation or lack of intelligence stupidity many a, a big portion of population suffers from this impurity of the intellect probably there are some intelligent people who will say how is it even possible intelligence is something non physical it is a mental thing it does not depend on the body there are rare cases where it does not really depend on the body but in general it is a law the law says that when you pull one leg of the table the other three legs they are pulled with it why because they are all connected so if you recall all these layers of the memory are all interconnected they are interwoven problem in one affects others immediately if you think there are such differences like physical and non physical that's not true let us take an example that uh, suppose you have a very fast pc your internet connection is also very fast and the website you are browsing is hosted on a server which is very very slow it is probably in some remote place is hardly working and in spite of you having the cutting edge hardware and facilities the website runs very very slowly and probably it does not even run properly half of it downloads the pictures are missing and most of it is dysfunctional keeps giving you errors now what is wrong here your pc is not even close to that server 
It's not even connected. There is just exchange of data. How did that remote old server manage to affect your PC so badly? It's all hardware. It's it's cutting edge software. It's all useless now because somewhere somehow it depends on other things. It is trying to push things, but the other layers are not cooperating. And this is how the higher layers are affected by the lower. and the lower are affected by the higher if the lower layers are affected by the higher which everybody knows it happens and the higher layers can be affected by lower because they are all connected this probably nobody knows they think i'll eat anything i'll get up any time i'll sleep any time i'll drink any kind of alcohol take any kind of medicine and drug my intelligence will remain as it is well this is stupidity you can try <laughs> a little bit of sickness and all the intelligence is thrown out of the window if your digestion is not good it is flushed down the toilet remember i gave you this definition of intelligence for a good reason memorize it the definition itself tells you what it is the definition gives you all the answers immediately even if the body is good even if there is no malnutrition sometimes the body catches some diseases and a big disease is that of infection viral bacterial fungal parasitical any kind these infections they affect the other systems in the body but they also affect the intellect how is that possible a virus is roaming around a parasite is sucking the blood in the intestine how is that going to affect my intelligence hardly anybody knows this thing it is such a pity people don't know simple things if you are infected if the body is infected it is going to bring down the intellect the body enters a fighting mode and intelligence or the higher processes the abstract reasoning and logic and mathematics and all these are not really the concerns of the body now are of this organism and they are affected they are shut down so that most of the energy goes in fighting the disease if you have long term infections in the body you will become stupid the other diseases they do not affect intellect so much for example the heart disease or let us say you have joint pain or this liver diseases or something like this Uh, probably yeah, because it does not involve the immune system but i am not very sure about it any kind of disease is going to reduce the intellectual abilities a lot the third main reason which is connected to the lower layers of the body and all is genetic sometimes there are genetic deformities genetic abnormalities they cause mental retardation and everybody knows this i think what people don't know is there are minor genetic variations which causes imperceptible genetic disorders and they affect the overall intelligence of the person now nobody talks about it because they think that it is going to lead to racism that this race is superior in intellect because they have this kind of genes yes people have done that <laughs> and they are very very stupid people but uh, there is a connection between genetics and intelligence this is a bit of truth yes you can twist it to a form the superiority of your genetic type but that is actually a defect in the mind that is actually a defect an impurity in the intellect so those who are trying to um, use genetics as a proof of their superiority or something they are actually mentally retarded very few people know this they simply go with the propaganda so that brings us uh, to the society a major cause of mental retardation or lack of intelligence is uh, social influences the first and the biggest one is indoctrination and you must have seen that this comes this word appears in every episode that i produce on impurities it is such a terrible impurity that uh, even the highest layers are not saved from it indoctrination 
very quickly makes a person stupid turns a very good person with a very good body and where the potential of the intelligence is very high into a retarded idiot indoctrination does that when a child is growing the child is defenseless the intellect is immature and whatever you stuff into that intellect it becomes like that so if a child grows up in a society which is mentally retarded uh, there is a good chance that uh, his uh, intelligence will suffer intellect uh, is highly dependent on the social circumstances something similar to indoctrination is dogma hard headedness narrow mindedness if you live in this kind of society which is highly dogmatic there is a tax on thinking <laughs> there is a punishment for thinking out of the box or thinking something which nobody thinks then you will remain stupid even if you are a grown up person we are not talking about indoctrination here the so social pressures they will keep you stupid then there is something called brainwashing where uh, even the intelligent people are uh, taking the influence from society there is a continuous bombardment of false information through your tv through the internet through the newspapers and the rumors and especially your politicians and leaders of all kinds they are continuously brainwashing the people and if you hear all those things again and again and again daily they make you very very stupid if you read those things every day you will remain at that level in the mind copies faithfully remember this it will copy all that garbage and you will think all that garbage whole day there is no chance of development of your intellect here this is the social influence another thing in the society that i've seen is the intelligence is considered a taboo topic there are some cultures there are some countries where stupidity is worshiped oh he is too intelligent and people are automatically afraid of smart people especially the stupid people are afraid of smart people by smart i mean intelligent people and so it is prohibited to call anybody stupid Now, this is stupidity of the social kind it is considered impolite to call somebody stupid and when you do not point out the stupidity of that child or that uh, man or woman they are going to remain stupid nobody does anything to improve their situation remember intellect can be developed and if you already call a stupid person intelligent there is no chance of development i have seen this a lot and i am surprised <laughs> that but there is no point in be, being surprised society is like this our societies are a disaster so uh, stupid people are respected stupid people get the jobs stupid people get promoted stupid people get married and they reproduce and the biggest one of them the biggest fools they rule the country they make all the policies they conduct all the warfare and whatever so the whole countries are like this there are cultures that are like this where stupidity is on top and intelligent people they are poor in the room on the street how is that even possible society is a big force that's that is how it is possible there is power in numbers so 100 idiots are equal to one intelligent person and this is the actual ratio of intelligence in human society one in 100 one in 1000 has a little bit of intelligence another social reason is conformity which means that uh, if if you are too intelligent society is going to reject you either they are very afraid or they suffer from inferiority complex or they become violent too because extreme competition they do not see you as their own and the animal nature in them tells you that he is my enemy now i need to kill him so they become violent towards highly intelligent people they are insulted they are attacked they are bullied everybody knows this what can be done nothing because they are too many numbers what can you do so an intelligent person tries to conform to the lower strata in the society just to get a girlfriend 
must pretend that he is not intelligent. He is normal. What do you mean by normal? Stupid. As soon as he says something which is wise, which goes above the head of these normal people, you are now branded as abnormal. Now you cannot mix with them. <laughs> so these pressures, the social pressures, the need to conform to your society keeps you stupid. It's from the society we move to the family. If you are born in a family of stupid people, there is a great chance that you will remain stupid. I need not tell you the reasons. Usually, children of uh, intelligent parents are very intelligent. They are actually more intelligent than their parents. Everybody has seen this. They are talented. And the children of a stupid family are very stupid. Again, this is because uh, the layer of intellect is dependent on its surroundings. It grows with experiences. It simply copies whatever surrounds it. That's not very intelligent, but this is how nature works. Some people will say that, no, 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 this is not correct. I have seen this person who is born in a very stupid family. They are not even educated, but he is a genius. Yes, exceptions are there. There are reasons for the exceptions, but uh, we are discussing the broad uh, ideas here. There will be exceptions everywhere because this instrument is very, very complex. There are many factors. Sometimes there is a positive factor which is very, very strong and then it simply overpowers other factors. But generally, it's not the case. It's an exception. The customs and the traditions and the family and the languages they speak, all of it affects the child very much. The intelligence grows in the younger age. And if the child is confined to the family, like it's never let out of the house also, which happens to girls in this country. They are not allowed to go out of their house also and they are restricted to the mental level of uh, their immediate relatives. There is no chance of any increase of intelligence there, especially in the case of girls. And now you can see that the very familiar belief in our society that Girls are stupid. There is a cause of it. The social situation made them stupid. Especially the families. They ensure that the female child remains stupid. If she grows up too much intellectually, there will be problems in her marriage. Why? Because everybody else is stupid. Nobody will marry her. If she gets too much education, she will leave the family. She will become independent. And who knows what an independent girl can do? They can ruin our reputation. So there is a suppression here. Specifically, there is a, a discrimination based on gender in our society. So a specific gender is encouraged to get more experiences, more education, even more food. Nutritious food is served to boys, not to the girls. This is happening in this country right now also. Unimaginable. Even the so-called educated and intelligent parents, they do this. And they call themselves intelligent actually. We are very intelligent. That's why we are doing it. So family is a big, big impurity here. Especially the girls should take notice of this. Your family is cause of your retardation. Next uh, impurity is education. Now it is very funny because education is supposed to make you intelligent. And it rarely happens. I have seen that intelligence is not really produced by education. Those who are in intelligent, they get educated nicely. It is reversed. Now, how many people know this? Hardly anybody. They think, uh, if I get a specific kind of education, I'll become intelligent. No, you don't. You remain retarded. Retarded, educated person. Why is that? Uh, well, I don't want to go into the details of this. It's a, it's a social and political situation also um, because uh, the education that we see today was not like this in the past. Right now, the education system that you see is connected to survival. And if your degree can bring food, then who cares about intelligence? Who cares about knowledge? You only care about passing the exam and getting the job so that you can run your family, so that you can buy food. You can see the problem is at the root of the education system. It has been connected to your survival and therefore you cannot 
get the education you only get the survival now how does how much intelligence it, it takes to survive nothing get the degree <laughs> you, you pass the interview because everybody is idiot in the interview they need to choose somebody you see and then the education system has become only a means to get a job any retard can get a job in this country any job because education he is seen as educated and the education it does something very tricky that uh, it gives you an impression that i am intelligent because i am educated and many people live like this for their whole lives and they die stupid once you are stamped with a degree your chances of growing your intellect are next to nothing because you have already assumed that i know everything now i have this phd everybody else is stupid now the education system that was employed in this country by the british attackers was meant to keep the natives as slaves they were told only that and only that much which made them into a faithful servant that's all they taught actually the education system set up by them was a kind of indoctrination it told you that you are inferior your culture is inferior your religion is, is inferior you are just uncivilized uneducated uncultured animals this is what was told to you and whatever was stuffed in your mind was obviously their culture their superior ways their superior knowledge so called and you can see the effects of it the whole generations after generations that came out of this education system are actually slaves their mental slaves of western culture they don't even know their own language they don't even know their own culture they do not know how to say salute somebody in their own language the education system is probably the most corrupt part of this society it is not only this country it's everywhere actually politicians have corrupted it completely so what you get out of the education system is a complete idiot who is just able to survive somehow and is a faithful slave of the ruling class and if you have a lot of education there is no chance that you will become intelligent in in this lifetime it is stuffed in your mind now it is permanent only death will free you from the impurity of stupidity you will find that i am so bitter about the society and there are reasons for it they are not doing a good job really there will be some people who will say oh you mean the uneducated fellow is more intelligent than but you see that's also not true at least the educated person can say a few things can do a few things like open a bank account or things like that there are some survival issues that are taken care of by the education but the uneducated person cannot even do that the whole society is kind of dependent on the education system so we have nothing better that's why even though it is a social evil you need to do it it is just like marriage it is a social evil but you need to do it just like your job it is going to eat your soul but you need to do it so i'm not recommending that uh, don't get any education will 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 find out ways to bypass this system also the next impurity is atmosphere your intelligence depends on the kind of people you are surrounded with if you are surrounded with idiots you will remain idiot and even if you don't have any infection genetic um, deformity and your society is also good your family is not uh, in that uh, retarded you survive the education system if you are surrounded by idiots and there is no way that your intellect will grow again it is because it takes influences from outside you see only stupid people and you then start thinking that i am a little bit better than these so i am very intelligent intelligence is comparative it is not something which is absolute it is like height if everybody is short around you you think that i am very tall something similar and if you are surrounded by people who tell you that you are very very intelligent then there is no hope of any development in your intelligence everything that surrounds you is being produced by idiots 
your entertainment very idiotic books that you read written by stupid people just to earn money tv internet videos everything is being produced by stupid people 99% of is total garbage total rubbish it actually brings down the intelligence of an intelligent person there is a negative effect of this kind of atmosphere the next major impurity is biases now i'm pretty sure that even the intelligent people have never heard of this thing a bias is a specific kind of program in the layer of the intellect which is like a virus instead of uh, the real program which is uh, which should be logical and rational the virus executes first and the virus biases the behavior thoughts emotions thinking of that creature in unseen ways they remain invisible they are also called the cognitive biases and now you can go and google it there is a lot of literature about it they are well known and i have seen that a lot of people try to get rid of them but uh, normally these things are never told to you thanks to your superior education system everybody has uh, cognitive biases the biggest bias is uh, a stupid person is very very confident that he is actually very intelligent this is the biggest bias that i've seen an intelligent person is not very certain about his intelligence a stupid person is very very sure that i am the most intelligent person in the world and in this stupidity whatever is done is highly destructive this is the biggest bias there are more biases like people follow the authority mindlessly oh said by this fellow on the big post in the government it must be true and now i need to do it this bias is like a blind fold it is evolutionary bias we are evolved to follow our leaders mindlessly because that is what ensured our survival in the past when we were animals and this program is still running here beautiful people always tell the truth oh look at this that woman she is selling a soap on the tv she is so beautiful the soap is the cause of her beauty obviously it does not matter if it costs 200 rupees i must buy it i am so intelligent <laughs> there are so many biases that probably if i start counting them it will take many hours so i'll just leave you with this word cognitive biases they are probably the most important built in mechanism that that causes retardation in intellect if you don't get rid of your biases at least the majority of them the big ones you will remain stupid and the problem is that nobody even knows that they are there the problem is that your society your teachers nobody knows about these things all of them are idiots then there are impurities of the lower layers as our definition says that it is a balance of some kind if the lower layers they are very very strong and they are highly corrupted and distorted that is going to affect the intellect of the person you already saw the effect of the lowest layer which is the body or the nervous system if your emotions are out of control you will become a fool the emotions will take over they will overrun the intellect if you are violent if you are fearful and so on your intelligence will be reduced to zero similarly if you are addicted to pleasures or you are afraid of pains your intelligence will not function you must have seen that there are so called very intelligent people who are addicted to substances and other things of all kinds you are so intelligent you are so educated why are you alcoholic why are you a drug addict why do you why are you a chain smoker you have so many skills and so on well these are the impurities of the lower layers the pleasure and pain they are responsible for addictions so obviously that person cannot be called intelligent probably he has some skills he has some abilities there higher abilities but uh, the development is not holistic there is imbalance and so he is doing all kind of stupid things and the problem is he he justifies it through some stupid reasoning oh life is for celebration let us drink every day let us kill this body quickly ah, because i am intelligent you see 
So if there are impurities on the lower layers, there is hardly any chance of developing your intellect. That is why we started from bottom. That is why any purification system will start from bottom. Only on the path of knowledge we start from top. And you are listening to the purification series because it failed. Now you need to start from bottom. Another uh, major impurity that causes mental retardation is mental afflictions of all kinds. Phobias, manias and who knows what. These are major cause of mental degradation, lack of intelligence. And everybody knows this, I think. This is obvious. It comes out. It is shown in the behavior. Stupidity is just a side effect of these uh, diseases. And uh, there is hardly anyone who does not suffer from mental afflictions of one kind or the other. And when they affect the decision making and all these uh, functions that require uh, intelligence, we don't really say that this person is stupid. If they are obvious, then people try to treat them. And they are not really called stupidity, which is okay. But many of the mental afflictions are hidden. Almost everybody suffers from one or the other of this kind of affliction. And they do not know why they are stupid. Even though everything seems to be right, it is because there is a disease in the mind. Something is wrong there, which is affecting the intellect. Another um, impurity that causes lack of intelligence is the causal body itself. I am calling them the latent impurities because they are never seen. Everything is fine with that person but still acts like a fool, is still a moron. In specific situations, when he is with specific people, he loses all the poise, he loses all the intelligence. Why is that? There are some latent uh, tendencies that take over the person and affect the intellect. And these latent tendencies are stored in the causal body. Because of them, either the person is born stupid or becomes stupid at some time, some point in their life. Or loses all the intelligence suddenly when faced with certain situations. Now it is very difficult to find out what is the cause here, but uh, we simply call them latent causes. and They are due to stored impressions in the causal body. And obviously... Nobody knows about these things. This knowledge is now completely gone from your society. Even the highly intelligent people, they don't know that there is something like this. If everything is right and still the person is an idiot and the cause is a latent one, it is beyond the layer of the intellect. Just like the lower layers affect the intellect, the higher layers, the layers higher than intel intellect, they affect it. They affect the overall intelligence of the person. Not only intellect. They affect all the layers. The effect is stronger in the layer of intellect and is never seen. The person keeps thinking that I am the same person, same intelligence, but um, only others can tell him that you are strange. One more uh, less known impurity is supernatural in nature, which means it is now coming from other entities. The influence, the bad influence, is coming from other minds. Remember, there is no boundary between you and me. It is all one universal memory. One part of it can affect the other part. And who knows for what reason if two entities are connected due to past life connections, due to matching tendencies, due to any other reason, karmic reasons. Whatever is happening in the other place affects you. By you, I mean the person who is acting like a retard. Nobody knows why this is happening. He was nice. He was okay. He was very intelligent just a few minutes ago. Now he is acting like a brute. This can happen because of the supernatural causes. And people usually call them madness. But they are, that's not madness. The madness is local. The madness is a local problem and the supernatural influences, they are beyond the perceived boundary of the organism. You think whatever thoughts are going on in my mind are my thoughts. 
whatever i decide is my decision whatever i like is my like my dislike there is no truth in that there is a podcast episode that i produced a few months ago it is called the group mind if you are interested in these supernatural causes you should go and uh, listen to that podcast episode it is called the group mind so this is a small list of impurities that can happen in the in- layer of intellect and you must be thinking that it's an impossible task to cure them all to purify the mind yes it is very difficult it's very very difficult <laughs> there is no pill for intelligence unfortunately there is no surgery that can give you intelligence nothing it is possible to cure all these impurities to some extent it is going to be a challenging task before you try to do anything you should know what is intelligence that is the biggest impurity actually people don't know what it is they think doing the maths inventing things earning a lot of money is intelligence this is all aspects of intelligence doing a certain kind of activity having one or two skills is not really intelligence there is a difference between cleverness and intelligence most of the people think that cleverness is intelligence because that is what they see they have never seen an intelligent fellow in their lives and whomever they come in contact with who is slightly clever is seen and branded as intelligent remember the stupid people have no clue what does an intelligent person look like they don't know this so let's start there try to find out uh, probably you're mistaking intelligence with cleverness and that has stopped your mental growth completely so try to see if you can that uh, there is a difference between a street smart person and a real wise and intelligent person a clever person is very narrow minded he knows only one or two things they are usually very successful in their material life they have a lot of connections social relations and so on and any idiot will consider that person as intelligent but that's not true a really intelligent person is very broad minded he knows many things about many subjects he is not tied to one skill or two skills he can learn anything under the sky there is a potential there intelligence is a potential it is not a frozen ability clever people are very cunning they know how to get the work done that's why they are so popular everybody likes the person who gets the work done my son is so intelligent he can do everything and that is cunningness the ability to fool people the ability to manipulate people this is how your all the leaders are they are actually stupid an intelligent person is not cunning he is wise he only does that which is most important and he does not even bother to know the other things and he learns something which is required he learns on need basis a cunning person if he is left on his own in an unfamiliar environment will start acting like an idiot so a person who is considered very intelligent in a village if you bring him in the city all his intelligence disappears a person who is very cunning in one country goes to another country starts behaving like cattle does not know what to do because all his all of his intelligence was trained in a specific situation in a specific environment he knows only that nothing else and he does not know how to train himself and adapt himself to the new situations most of the clever people they are concerned with survival they earn a lot of money because of it they gather stuff and they are good in relations because they are all connected with survival these are called street smart people A really intelligent person is above survival they take care of the survival and then they're done with it and then they look towards something which is not really connected with survival something which is higher than survival arts sciences technology spirituality a clever person does not even know what these things are he only knows survival a clever person will mostly use his ability to cause harm they misuse it and an intelligent person actually utilizes the abilities he tries to help others he tries to improve the situation and so on a clever person 
is a cheater. He's a fraud most of the time. He knows how to get the work done using all these techniques. An intelligent person is very honest. There is ethics. There are morals in an intelligent person. A clever person is mostly like a criminal. Can do anything to get whatever he wants. The social condition is so bad that a person who can rob a bank, who can bring down the share market and who can <laughs> win the election by hook or crook is called intelligent in our culture. This is how bad the situation is. They are clever people, yes. They are all criminals. There is no wisdom. There is no intelligence there. They have just learned to survive better. If you are sitting on the highest branch, you are still a monkey. A really intelligent person is minimalist. Knows how to survive and then does whatever he likes to do. Creative. You will see that a clever person is always in a hurry. Just wants to get things done. Is fearful. If, if I don't get this, people are going to call me fool. A, a really intelligent per person is careless. Very calm, very peaceful. And does not really bother about other people. What others are saying, not my business. A clever person is very selfish. Intelligent person is selfless. He works for the good of all. A clever person is found provoking others, misleading others. Just like your politicians and leaders are people who are trying to sell you rubbish, gold-coated trash. We think they are very intelligent, but they are just clever. They know how to manipulate people, how to mislead people. Their intelligence stops there. A really intelligent person will provide guidance, will always provide correct opinion, good advice, which will be beneficial for everybody. You can see that they are almost zero. People like this are almost absent from the society. A clever person is usually very ignorant, has zero knowledge. Whatever he has gathered is through experience of what works in that specific condition. That's all they know. They are not really after knowledge. They are after getting things by hook or crook. That's what they know. Uh, an intelligent person worships knowledge. Knowledge is everything for an, an intelligent person. Knowledge gives you wisdom. Knowledge brings more intelligence. Knowledge purifies the layer of intellect. This is the key. Knowledge is the key. All the impurities can be destroyed simply by knowing. Right now, right here, because you know of all these impurities, you got a boost in your intelligence immediately. Remember, millions and millions do not know these things which I am telling you. By simply by listening to this thing about the impurities, what can be the impurities in the intellect, you have surpassed these millions of sheeps. They are just like animals who think I am intelligent. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Knowledge is intelligence. It has the power, nothing else. Simply by knowing that I have this impurity, you can get rid of it. If you don't even know, then there is no chance. It will remain there. So for any intelligent person, it should be obvious now what needs to be done to get rid of all these impurities. Let us go through them very quickly. I am going to give you some tips only. There is no guarantee that they will work. It's possible they will work in some cases. Try it. Use your intelligence. If you suffered from malnutrition in childhood, all is not lost. Yes, the nervous system did not develop and so on, you see. But uh, the higher layers can overpower the lower, as we know. Right now also you can nourish your body. Right now also you can switch to a good diet, which does not really mean eating too much or eating animals and things like that. A nutritious, pure food. You can correct some of the issues in the body. It will, it rebuilds, at least if you are young. If you are very old, it's too late. Get your body checked for diseases, infections and parasites and all. They are killing your intelligence. The problem is you think the body has no effect on the intelligence. And that is the cause of stupidity. The body affects the intelligence. Let us accept this and treat it. If you have genetic abnormality, probably nothing can be done. Still, you can try. Try to know what is the genetic deformity there. How are others dealing with it? 
probably there are uh, some workarounds probably you do not have the ability to construct sentences for example or your attention does not sit at one place for once more than one second and so on you cannot speak properly you cannot learn any language and these things uh, they have genetic causes and you need to find out how others are dealing with it and uh, try to bypass them somehow try to grow in other area if you lack like in one area probably your mathematics is better than others because of that genetic deformity who knows probably you uh, you can master an art you never paid attention to that ability and in spite of that uh, genetic condition it is possible to make use of the layer of intellect somehow in spite of that imbalance it is possible to live a good life an intelligent life examine your beliefs to find out how much is indoctrination what was stuffed in your mind when you were young sit down write it down get rid of it it's not that difficult what makes it difficult is assuming that i am right because somebody told it to me that automatically makes it right and because i believe it i am very intelligent something like this a noodle soup of garbage which you call logic is running in your mind it is just indoctrination and preservation of that indoctrination the virus tries to preserve itself similarly for dogma if you are in a dogmatic culture where you are not allowed to think <laughs> where if you become intelligent you become a danger for them just get rid of that society why are you living there why are you in that culture they are my brothers and sisters and okay it's time to leave them make brothers and sisters somewhere else you see make somebody who is intelligent your relative check whether you are being brainwashed by all kinds of media and newspaper and whatever check if you, your own parents are brainwashing you or your friends are brain, brainwashing you if you believe in all kinds of crazy theories and um, conspiracies and all this is a sure sign that you have a weak intellect the sure sign that you are a moron anybody can say anything to you and you simply believe it this means the intellect has not grown even a bit stop taking influences from from people try to learn logical abilities try to try to learn rationality which is possible only when you are surrounded by good people when you are surrounded by intelligent people if you are surrounded by such people <laughs> then there is no hope if stupidity is worshiped in your society you leave that country you leave that culture immediately there is no need to stay there if intelligence is taboo in a society you are in a wrong society let them die let them remain animals you get out of there or at least you find a corner in that culture where intelligent people live and they are not afraid of calling anybody stupid do not try to conform to social norms they are not norms they are deformities they are stupidity it's not normal to be stupid it is abnormal to pretend to be like somebody else who is not intelligent do not do that and the result is you will pretend to be stupid and then one day you will find that you have actually become stupid you have lost your intelligence you have lost your curiosity you have lost your zeal for learning and knowledge why because you <laughs> wanted so badly to conform to other people around you who don't have this ability this ability makes us human don't leave it your progress will stop all all of your spiritual progress will stop if you are stupid spirituality is not for idiots if you're in a family which encourages stupidity it's time to <laughs> say goodbye nicely don't make them cry just pretend that you have a job somewhere else and then you get rid of that family just pretend that you are beneficial for their for them that you're going to earn a lot of money and send back the money to them and your your reputation will touch the skies so on and get rid of the family get rid of the family pressures that is possible only by physical distance if you want to live in that family they will make you like themselves again they will cause problems your intelligence will remain where it is and all this fight will make it even worse remember we cannot improve others we can only improve ourselves and the best way to improve is to walk alone 
Do not depend on others. Nobody will improve you. Nobody supports your intelligence. Remember, they stop. They support your stupidity. Yes, that makes them feel good. Oh, everybody is stupid around me. I am the king here. Nobody wants you to become intelligent. Everybody wants you to remain stupid, so that they can feel good. So they can, so that they can manipulate you, and that includes your relatives and family and friends also. Remember, these people are not spiritual. They, there are animal tendencies that are dominant, dominant there. And now you will need to choose between your life and a herd of sheep. Which one is your goal? Why are you born here to obey your stupid family, <laughs> or you have something better to do in this life? If your family is good, then they will support you. If your family is intelligent, they will support your spiritual practices. They will support your art projects. They will encourage you. to think more to think better to read books these are the signs if your family always discourages you and forces you to think in their way which is kind of rotten and uh, outdated probably harmful they're turning in you into a violent animal of some kind and these are the signs that you should leave that family now they're no more your family if you're educated it's too late i'm not joking <laughs> education actually makes you stupid the whole education system is a product of idiots clever people actually the policy makers themselves are idiots they do not know what should they teach the babies the children the un- the uneducated person they don't know how to teach them these people are making policies there they are setting the syllabus it is either copied from somewhere from some foreign country or it is just pathetic it is just a repeat of the old system which was designed to keep you a slave turn you into a worker that serves the rich people that serves the ruling class and get your degree yes you, you will not survive in the system then develop a skill of your own do that which you like most turn it into a profession get rid of the education think independently think beyond education You all your teachers are stupid let go of them find a real guru find a real teacher find a master things that they never teach you probably unknowingly are very well known masters know them all how do i know all these things not through education system obviously as soon as you get rid of your education which is just brain washing you will find a complete reversal in your life you will be happy you will be independent you will be free you will be wise and you will be intelligent otherwise you will be like cattle that they produce from this education factory plastic dolls don't let your education turn you into a robot a zombie there is more education to be had after your education only a spiritual seeker knows the importance of this nobody else it is kind of futile to tell anybody else about these things they are so thoroughly brainwashed and indoctrinated that their intelligence has stopped working if you are on a spiritual path you will know all these things otherwise not otherwise you probably are not even listening so all of these talks are directed towards spiritual seekers ordinary people they will never come across this thing they will never hear my words surround yourself with wise, wise people gurus good books good audio good videos the top most quality that you find according to your own understanding surround yourself with them you can also have the light entertainment nobody stopping you from watching a horror movie or a zombie movie or <laughs> or cheap romantic novels nobody stops you but they should not become your primary focus a comedy show is harmless isn't it no it is making you idiot it is turning you into stupid person there is a lot of comedy in the higher layers actually they are full of comedy nothing makes sense especially in spirituality other fields also like philosophy and science it is all comedy nothing is serious there the seriousness comes in the lower layers probably nobody will understand what i'm saying a sure way to increase your intelligence is to surround yourself with intelligent people 
And the problem is intelligent people will not like to be with you. So you will need to become useful for them. Like you become their student, you serve them, you take a job under them and learn, 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 learn. Copy the intelligent person, try to become like him, talk like him, walk like him, speak like him, read whatever he's reading and so on, you see. Adopt that lifestyle. Be with that person like a shadow. And many of uh, the wise people, they will be happy to help you. Just don't irritate them. That irritation is a sign of intelligence. <laughs> An intelligent person is immediately irritated by stupidity. Cannot withstand that thing. So I can tell you my case that uh, I was as stupid as a rock. And uh, any tiny bit of development that happened in intelligence is totally due to other intelligent people. You can say there was a latent tendency here that uh, I got attracted to such people, intelligent people, and then I simply copied them. I tried to become like them. I adopted all their habits and I did whatever they do. And I got rid of all the, this social indoctrination and uh, all the family pressures and I got rid of the education also. I don't remember a single word of my education now. I completely submerged myself into an atmosphere of wisdom. And remember, this is the key. The intellect learns from outside. There is nothing really happening inside it. Yes, there are some mechanisms there that are built in. And if they are functioning nicely, then it's all influence. All of your knowledge will come from outside. All of your skills, they are acquired from outside. You think you're born with the skill. No, they were acquired from outside some other lifetime. They are just manifesting here. If you're born a genius, if you're born intelligent, it is because of your latent impressions. It takes work. If you do this work right now, right here in this lifetime, it will continue with you forever. Oh, what is the use of becoming intelligent, getting all the skills and all? I'm going to die anyway. And that means you are still ignorant. That means all this advice is not for you. Know your true nature. It is forever. It is eternal. The lack of body actually is a good thing for intelligence because you have seen that it actually retards the intelligence. It actually makes the higher layer slow. Just like the slow server makes your high speed PC very slow. At least it appears to become slow. So you are doing most of your intellect actual work when you are sleeping and that is also a less known thing. You go to sleep with a problem, you get up with a solution, you don't know why it happened. <laughs> and this is the level of ignorance here. It happened because there were no impurities that impeded the layer of intellect when you are sleeping. Some people call it intuition. Okay, okay, whatever you want to call it, you call it. Increase that ability, improve that ability. Improve your intuition. Learn about the biases. There's a long list of them. Actually, I got rid of many biases simply by learning about it. Oh, this is the bias. And then you drop it. You remember it whenever it happens. Actually, they, they can be seen. If you have that sight, if you have that awareness that shines light on whatever is happening in your mind, even in the higher layers, you will immediately see that there was a bias there. And you can get rid of it now. The bias will execute. It will tell you to do something, but you can then drop it and choose something else. They are like little viruses that made their home in our intellect, in this multi-layered structure of the memory, because they were useful for survival. Now they are useless and they are causing retardation. If you have impurities in the lower layers, just go and uh, listen to all other episodes in this series of purification. Get rid of those impurities as quickly as you can. And you will find there is a sudden rise in your intelligence. It's like magic. Lower layers, if they are controlled, it gives a chance to the intellect to flower now. If you are impulsive, if you are compulsive, if you are addictive and so on, get rid of all the things. Now you will see that all the energy is directed towards the higher layers. Automatically, naturally, everything is balanced naturally simply because you removed the impurities of the lower layers. Now, you won't do any stupid things because you, the lower layers layer tells you to do it. The intellect should be in command, in a healthy mind. 
nothing else not emotions not pleasure and pain not fears and phobias and whatever if you have mental afflictions probably nothing can be done but just like the physical and genetic afflictions you can try to live with them somehow study it and get yourself checked probably that will be you know, difficult because even these mental doctors they don't know anything about how it works so i have seen only a person on the spiritual path can find out what are the afflictions and can actually drop them can actually cure them only person on the spiritual path nobody else it does not matter how big the doctor is and whatever pills you are eating your mental affri- afflictions will never be cured if they are causing retardation of intellect you will remain retarded just mindlessly pick a guru pick a spiritual path and travel on it and you will find all these afflictions they actually rise to the surface it will look like that it has become worse because all the hidden junk is now floating on the top <laughs> it's a very bad condition it happens to many people and they actually leave the spiritual path there think that oh, the spiritual path has done something bad to me no it has simply brought out the impurities they are now in open daylight your all mental afflictions will be manifested in front of you to be seen clearly by you and others especially by your teacher so that that brings us to the latent impressions that are causing uh, deformity in the intellect and uh, even if you try you probably you won't be able to see it but those who are very advanced those who have a clear picture of their own causal body they will be able to see the latent processes that are causing uh, problems in the intelligence or you can take help of your guru if he is advanced enough he can examine your causal body and can show you seeing is 50% cure if if you can see it you can kill it if there are supernatural influences probably you won't be able to see anything but if you become advanced enough on your spiritual path you will be able to differentiate and between what is coming from your own memory structure and what is being implanted from outside you will be able to see this yourself if you cannot no problem you can approach a good teacher you can approach your guru and the guru if you spend a lot of time with such people who are spiritually advanced they can actually see it they can actually see that connection which is causing this problem and if you cannot find a good cause of mental diseases or um, unexplained phenomena which is not even found in any books any psychiatry book or anything and then uh, probably the cause is supernatural in the dark ages these people were burnt alive <laughs> because they they had possessions they were possessed by the de- devil so they were tortured and they were killed uh, hopefully they don't do it nowadays hopefully there is some intelligence in the society nowadays but they do call them mad it is a madness yes but uh, it is not because of a deformity of anything but it is because of something which is beyond the understanding of even the most intelligent people only a spiritual person can understand it only very advanced seekers they know about it and yes the, these influences are big cause is it's not one in a million or one in a billion it's not like this it is very common actually so i do i don't want to scare you about these things but uh, this is the possibility what happens when your intelligence is working properly when the intellect is functioning properly you will find that immediately your life improves your standard of life it shoots up you will be happy you will be satisfied you will be ethical you will be moral you will be loving you will be kind everybody will like you except the idiots they don't like anybody especially the intelligent people yes you won't get each and everybody to like you but other intelligent people will be attracted to you just like i said you need to be with wise people be in the company of wise and others who want to be like you will be with you forget about those who are mentally retarded they will never be able to approach you change your society change your lifestyle so that you shield yourself from stupidity money will become like a child's play for you 
you can learn anything under the sky you can do that which you love most the arts and sciences and whatever you want creative app uh, creative activities they will shine naturally and for the first time you will feel that i'm living like a human now this is human life do you think whatever people in your society are doing can be called human this is how a human should be governed by intellect intelligent balanced lifestyle and especially on the path of knowledge the a pure intellect is requirement you cannot progress on the path of knowledge if your intelligence is not functioning it is a major requirement you will never understand any spiritual concept if your intelligence is not developed enough that is why this is the most difficult path but it is the most direct because if you have functioning intellect it does not take time to know why does it take so much time to know to get the spiritual knowledge to get enlightened or whatever because the intelligence is not functioning the spiritual path is not for stupid people the good thing is as you start knowing even the basics as you start dropping your indoctrination and all the all that garbage that you collected from others it will pick up it will pick up slowly and then it goes exponentially then there is no limit to how much the intellect can grow it can grow to extreme limits there are no limits actually is the other layers they are limited they are very very limited as you can see can there be limit to intellect no can there be limit to awareness no the higher you go the more limitless you become stay at the lower layers you will remain limited intelligence is the key to grow past your animal nature and then also the human nature human nature is also very small very um sluggish this form is not really suitable for a spiritual seeker but this is what we have right now and you need to utilize it and the best utilization is done when you purify this form